Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your September weekly messages. This is going to be for the 23rd through the 29th. So let's see what uh, what the crystal ball has in store for you. No. <laughs> let's see what's going on. Knight of Wands reversed. Feel as though someone could be lacking energy. Lacking energy or you just don't have the motivation to do things or get things done. Or maybe you're just taking a break. Five of Swords reversed. Yeah, I feel like you could be taking a break. Whoa. Tower with the Ten of Wands. You Like I said, you don't have the energy to move forward anymore. There's something that went down. You're dropping burdens. You're letting go of things that are stressing you out. You refuse to be stressed out by bullshit. With the Five of Swords reversed, you're just like, you're letting go of that. You don't want to think negative. You, Despite of the Tower moment, you're trying hard not to think negative. So it's kind of like you're stopping yourself from coming forward and probably popping off on somebody. It could be someone at work too. Maybe you found something out at work or found something out about something and you're just overburdened, you're overworked, overstressed too. So whatever it is that's going on with you, I feel like you need to just stop what you're doing. Okay, let's find out. What is this Tower and Ten of Wands about? Nine of Swords, yep, definitely not being able to sleep at night. No matter how hard you, you, you're trying not to think negative, it's like you just, it happens. You can't help yourself. You're stressed out. You're very, very worried about something or someone. Maybe something went up in flames. Maybe shit hit the fan at work or your career or with a lover or something. And you are just like having insomnia and not being able to sleep at night. Yeah, could it be in regards to a marriage or something in your home life with the Four of Wands reversed? Someone could be fighting and arguing. Maybe, I feel like someone tried to get pregnant and it didn't work out or something happened and it's just like... You're just, it's stressing you out. So you're just thinking about the future now. Three of Wands, you're thinking about what to do. You're thinking about the future, what's going to happen next. How are you going to move forward? If you should give up, stop, or continue. Whatever's stressing you out, I feel like if you're trying to get pregnant, you need to just stop. Whatever's stressing you out, chill, take a break. And you've been really, really thinking about that. See, two of swords reverse. You made a decision, okay? You could have been waiting for something to come in or waited for a message or a decision or something like that. And when it did, it's like, boom. And it's stressing you out. And you're wondering why, what's next? Why me or what, what the hell is going on? What's going on with my Capricorn? <sighs> Knight of Pentacles reversed, okay? Maybe you uh, were expecting some kind of stability or money to come in and it didn't happen. Um, maybe there was a blockage. Maybe somebody stole from the company or from you. Or maybe you owe. Or maybe you took a loss in something and you're just stressed out. Or maybe you had to purchase something and it, it just drained you. Huge burden. Maybe you, had to sell, you have to sell your house and you're trying to find out where to go, what to do next. Oh, that's, that's way too much. Oh, well, I'll take those two, but these are... Well, I guess... Yeah. We have the star reversed. Some of you are, are losing hope in this situation. You're feeling hopeless. Uh, we have the eight of pentacles reversed. You, I feel like you're just tired of working. You're just tired of putting in the effort and all you do is, is get nothing or get stress or burdens one thing after another just comes and you feel like you can't catch a break so i feel like what you need to do in this upcoming week 
with these two cards that just you know came out last is the four of swords rest find some healing like i said and just start over okay take a leap of faith start over rest after you've rested you get up and you try again okay you don't stop despite of this tower whatever it is don't stress out about it i know you're feeling hopeless or you're losing hope right now but all it is is because you're overworked you're overburdened you need time to yourself you need to heal you need to rest okay and then gather your shit, okay? Put on your boots, your lipstick, whatever it is. Big girl, big boy pants and start over again. Okay, so let's get an oracle for you. You know what? I'm gonna get my uh, God, Goddess, Angel cards. Angels and God and Goddess cards for you guys because this calls for some kind of uh, help. <laughs> Let's see here. Message for my Capricorns, please. This is the Angel Gods and Goddesses Oracle Cards. <sighs> Capricorn, please. Capricorn, the upcoming week or so. Okay, there's the card. We have two. We have the God of Reflection and the Angel of Joyfulness. So with the God of Reflection, the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. I'll read to you what that means right now. And then we have the Angel of Joyfulness. Something wondrous and magical is about to happen. Okay, whether this is you experiencing the storm resting and then taking a leap of faith and then great something great happens after that something good always happens when you know tower moments bring extreme sadness and and headaches and shit like that but afterwards there's a reason for that okay there is a reason for tower moments it's never pretty experiencing them but afterwards you're gonna realize wow i understand why that had to happen now okay so let's see let's read the um god of reflection here it says you are giving away your power because you fell to recognize and acknowledge the many wondrous qualities that you possess the qualities you admire in others are simply reflections of the same qualities within you yet often you falsely believe that others are better than you in some way it is now time to let go of this belief and allow your beauty talent and creativity to shine through from now on, every time you see beauty in another, let it serve to remind you of your own beauty. If you recognize success in another, check to see how success also exists within you. I know you're very successful. My Capricorns are really very successful. So if you feel like you're losing hope or you're feeling a lack of motivation or you're feeling um, insecure, just remind yourself that that's who you are. That is, uh, it's within you you have the power you just got to snap out of that right and so on as you as your perceptions are brought into balance you become a more effective force in the world you have more impact on those around you by acknowledging all the beautiful qualities that you already possess you open the door to an endless stream of abundance and blessings which stem from the heart of creation that's a beautiful message, right? That was the God of reflection. Take time to heal and reflect on your blessings of what you have, what you're capable of. Do not focus on the negative, okay? Let's see. Angel of joyfulness. Beautiful card. Let's see this. Angel of joyfulness. This is a time to be joyful. Celebrate and appreciate all that you have achieved to date. Look back on your life and give thanks for all your experiences. Even the setbacks that you have experienced in recent times has served you in some way. I told you. Something wonderful and magical is about to emerge as a result of a recent contact or experience that seemed rather meaningless at the time. 
An angel of joyfulness is here to tell you that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires and that your life is on the verge of a wondrous transformation. You deserve joy, happiness for you are your ble okay what? You deserve joy and happiness for you are a blessed child of the universe. Joyfulness is a state of appreciation and love for the self and for all of life. Yet so often we are conditioned not to accept joy in our lives. Close your eyes right now and tell yourself that you deserve to be joyful and that you accept joy into your life from this moment on, regardless of the circumstances you find yourself in. You see that? Regardless of the circumstances you find yourself in. You deserve joy and love, baby. Remember who the fuck you are, okay? <laughs> All right, Capricorn, this was your weekly message. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in your next video.